Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Delicious Season 2, where we'll be cooking authentic Bahraini food and some other cuisine. My name is Ali Youssef, and today I have a guest chef from Gallery 21, Chef uh, Mikhail. Mikhail, yeah. Mikhail, what, what you gonna cook? Uh, tell them about yourself first, and then what you gonna cook. Um, okay, yeah, I joined uh, Gallery 21 just a few uh, months ago. Um, I'm enjoying Bahrain. Um, I think it's uh, full of vibes. W welcome to Bahrain. Thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna cook today a classic dish, uh, Italian dish, uh, which is a uh, lobster fettuccine. Um, it's a very simple but very rich. Um, as most of the Italian dishes, they're very simple. A few ingredients, but really, really tasty. Cool. Um, I like that. That's a lobster. Yes. Wow. It's a nice and giant lobster. Yes. Um, uh, there is a little story behind this uh, um, dish. Um, actually, uh, was very famous in a restaurant where I used to work in London. Okay. Uh, an Italian restaurant. And uh, we actually call it Lobster Incident. Because actually we used to um, add a little bit of wine, uh, but my chef uh, mistake, and uh, one day he put martini. Okay, okay. So he gave it the pan to me. I was plating up, and I said, "There's something wrong here." So I put it on the side, and I said, "Okay, my chef, a very good chef from Sicily, the best uh, pasta chef, Andrea." Uh, so I said, "Okay, can you do it again?" Blah blah. I plate it off, and then the service finished, and we taste this um, actually this pasta, which had a martini instead of uh, wine, and it was actually delicious. So we changed nice. the menu, and we uh, we call it lobster um, lobster martini. Um, you know, since then I've been cooking it in many places, and it's always been you know one of the best sellers. Great, it's great to know the story behind this lobster. And uh, what's your ingredients now? Okay, very simple. Uh, we're gonna start with some garlic, um, uh, with some chili. Uh, I'm gonna fry off some um, cherry tomatoes. Then I'm gonna have the lobster, um, a little bit of uh, lobster stock, which you okay. can make uh, uh, with the lobster shell. Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah, it's nice. It's like a bisque kind of uh, thing. A little bit of tomato sauce, but not too much because you don't wanna um, ruin. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna cook the uh, fettuccine in salty water and uh, gonna add the basil at the last minute when we toss in the pasta. Right. That's it. Right. Very simple. Let's uh, let's get this started. With. Yes. But before we start, um, yeah. we're going to take a short break and can see you in a bit. Right. And here we're back. And Chef Mikhail going to start the dish. Okay. Okay. First of all, you're going to steam your lobster, which I already did. Otherwise, it will take you too long. Okay. Then um, you just go up, up and up in in half like this. So basically, guys, this uh, this lobster is already is being uh, cooked. Yeah. Uh, boiled. Um, otherwise, it will take time to boil it. Actually, so then you, you cut it this way. You take off your clothes, and what you basically you want is it take the tail meat. Right. This one we can keep it for later. He's like, I just want to eat this and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> and you take the brain which you don't need. And we do the same with this. So once you have your meat, obviously it's gently uh, poached in the water. You don't want to cook it, otherwise all the flavors go, it will go away. Okay. All right. So this one we're going to leave already up for now. And we're going to open our clothes. Guys, learn how to open a lobster. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna impress some lady one day. <laughs> it's very easy. Actually, it's easier than it, it looks. Especially with, you know, fresh Is lobster. it similar to crab, right? Yes, yes, yeah, it's similar very similar. To crab, yeah. crab is actually a little bit more tricky because he's, he has a different kind of body, but lobster yeah. is actually very easy. Okay, so now we have our clothes. This not so much meat, it's gonna take too long to do it. So now we have a beautiful lobster. We have two beautiful clothes intact. Nice. Gonna chop in a fairly big pieces. Okay. So now we have all the ingredients. I'm gonna eat this. 
And previously, I made this beautiful stock. Uh, basically, you can use the, the uh, um, carcass of the lobster to make this, uh, this, okay. this stock, which is going to give a, flavor, so, huh? such a nice flavor. Okay, now we start the, the magic. So, use a little bit of uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. With a gentle heat, you don't want to burn your ingredients. So, the first to go is a little bit of garlic and chili. Depends, uh, it's up to you if you want to put chili, if you don't. Those chili, they're usually mild, so they give the little kick. I like that. Yeah, look, I actually like, uh, you know, spicy. So you just spray it off until it's nice brownish. Hope you guys remember what I said about Italian food in the other episodes, that you don't overcook Italian food. Remember, you have to always be careful with the heat. In Italy, we say uh, the less is more. If you have a beautiful lobster, you don't need to kill it. It's already dead. Yeah, <laughs> you know? just leave it. You yeah. know? Um, so we, you really need to be gentle. It, cooking for us is I, like a treat a lady. You I, know? I, totally, uh, yeah, I totally agree with you with that. And also, if you guys have a pasta machine at home, you yeah. can make your own pasta at home. It's so simple. All you need is flour and uh, egg and uh, egg olive flour. oil and a little bit of salt if you want it. Or you buy it ready. Yeah, today we're going to use a dry one because it, it will take too long. Um, the, yeah, this will take longer than the fresh pasta. Fresh pasta takes seconds. If you want, you can put the carcass because there's still a lot of flavor here. You wouldn't imagine how much flavor actually the carcass they will give. Look at that. You don't waste anything. That looks beautiful. Actually, in Italy, we don't uh, throw away anything. I mean, everything is useful. And believe me, the carcass, they give such a nice flavor when you toss them. So you see, I still didn't put the meat, otherwise it's gonna be overcooked by the time we're cooking it. And we can start to cook the pasta. Pasta usually, it, take, it depends. For us, uh, we call al dente, which is a little bit, uh, you know, uh, crunchy. Um, we actually eat the pasta a little bit, not overcooked, again. Maybe this one is a bit stronger. Never ever overcook pasta. No, it's like a, you know, they will kill you in Italy. <laughs> yeah, it's a crime in Italy. Yes, <laughs> the mafia gonna come after you. <laughs> now I put a um, kind of big portion. So you can hear the, the music of the lobster cooking. Absolutely. I love that sound. Guys, remember, I always tell you, you have to hear that. So the tomato, the crime, they're starting to um, you know, dissolve a little bit and making actually creamy. And that's when we put our lobster meat. This one, this one, no, I'm just saying. So uh, how long have you been cooking? Oh, um, apparently, as my mom says, since I was a really um, young boy, um, basically we had a, a garden with a lot of beautiful vegetables and things like that. So since I was, I can remember, so I was, I, for sure I was really a little, uh, boy. little yeah. yeah. So I used to uh, plant my potatoes, my tomatoes, and as soon as they actually harvested, um, I used to go in the kitchen with my mom and ask him, can I cook with you, you know. So that sounds, sounds me when I was young, I was insane. Uh, for me it was a passion, you know. As soon as my mom was out, I used to call my friend and uh, we used to cook uh, any sort of things, making a mess, and then my mom obviously wasn't <laughs> very happy about it but she understood that they had this passion for food. Um, so when I was 15, I chose to do um, the chef school. I, I burned the house once. Uh, I've been near <laughs> to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was uh, something, that the oil was very hot and I just throw the tomatoes and the flames just ate everything. That's very dangerous. I was, like, I was scared, I was like a little boy and just, I just ran away. Yeah, that's, I think most of every boy, uh, <laughs> when, when they little, they play with fire. I was like, help, help. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add just a little bit of tomato sauce. You don't need much. It's just to make it a little more, uh, you know, creamy. 
And if you have this beautiful stock, honestly, uh, that's all you need. And you're just gonna leave it simmering. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut some fresh basil. Um, some people use parsley. I think uh, the lobster is quite um, sweet, and the basil it really, really complements the, the lobster. Cool. So I, this, I, this is an interesting dish to me, actually, because I never experienced this before. It's one of my, honestly, is one of my signature dish. It's very simple, but everybody loves it. It's so full of flavor, but it's very a gentle flavor. It's not very, you know. And I love basil. Basil really remind me, you know, the summers in my garden. Okay, so. now we can actually put into to stop because the most important thing is not to overcook the pasta as you said. Actually, take it a little bit before and finish it to cook in the pasta. Yeah. Oh, okay. What happened? Makes sense. Yeah, uh, what happened is uh, all the starch from the pasta is gonna actually thick it up the sauce and it go, the pasta, because it's very uh, spongy, let's say, yeah. uh, is an egg pasta, it's gonna so absorb, it, uh, the, uh, ab the, absorb the, the sauce. Absorb the flavor. I yes. Guess. So we can put a little bit of basil now like and a that. little bit at the end. Those are simple things, but honestly, they're gonna make such a difference. Because if you overcook already the pasta and then you put it in there, it's not gonna uh, actually, um, you know, absorb. Uh, actually, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this to put the carcass, which we're gonna use later, because we haven't finished yet with them. Okay. So we're just gonna put it on the side. And now it's the waiting game. This pasta usually doesn't take long. And, you know, it has to be, the secret is... Yeah, that, when you, that, that's, I think, it's, uh, I think, it looks it's enough now to continue there. Yeah, uh, when it's in the middle, it's still a little bit white, so it's not cooked uh, definitely. Just gonna gently, doesn't matter if there is still a little bit of uh, cooking water. Actually, cooking water is essential. That's why I don't use a colander. I keep the water because sometimes, if you reduce too much uh, your sauce, you can still put a little bit of a cooking water, which has the flavor of the pasta. It has a little bit of starch, you know. Absolutely. As you see, the pasta is getting the flavor and the sauce, absorbing it, because you know pasta. Because you don't want to full cook it into the water. Yeah, it's almost done. Um, then it's really up to you how much tomato sauce to add, if you want a more saucy or, you know, I think that's about enough. So basically you guys got that. If you want it to be saucy, you add more sauce. And if you want it to be dry, just leave it that way. You can put more cherry tomatoes and don't put any tomato sauce at all. It really depends. Um, someone put cream. In, in Italy, we don't really use a lot of cream. I heard that actually. I was uh, I was in this uh, what they call it uh, chef master okay. in Italia cucina, and um, I remember uh, chef uh, what is his name? Canavacciolo, the no, big guy. The judge, no, no, the other one. Uh, okay, um, yeah, I don't follow much the Italian. Can't one. remember his name anyway. He said that uh, uh, the cream has been banded now in Italy. Oh, thanks God, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, uh, okay, in Italy there is a little bit of controversial. Um, in north of Italy they use a lot of butter and cream because the weather is colder and they have cows and uh, things like that. Um, in south of Italy we use olive oil, um, you know, uh, honestly I never saw cream or butter in my house. It yeah. was just about olive oil, you know. I mentioned that before the other episodes too. Don't use cream anymore. It's it's, it's not just not healthy, it's just, you have no reason to use yeah. that. You can use your own ingredients, you can create your own cream with your ingredients without using cream. And never put cheese in a fish pasta. It's, you heard? It's, it's one don't of the worst it's things pasta, you can do. I will put cheese, no. Fish pasta, you don't put cheese. No. Use basil, or you, use, you can use oregano also, right? Yeah, of oregano. course, yeah. Depends on what kind of pasta you're doing. Herbs, uh, I love herbs, you know, they, they give such a gentle touch. Yeah. Actually, uh, not too long ago in London, 
is being um, uh, one chef which basically was um, serving a fish dish and the customer wants some cheese. He went out and said, no, I'm going to teach you to do it in an Italian way. I'm not going to give you the cheese. <laughs> this guy, uh, this customer, obviously, he made a big, got, big got, complaint. Got mad, and yeah. what ended up? He had such a massive uh, publicity, the restaurant was packed. <laughs> he told him, look, if you want to eat my pasta, you eat my way. You see, when it comes to food to Italians, they'll be aggressive because yes, right aggressive. is right, wrong is wrong. They're passionate about, you know. Because they're proud, you know, th those things is something you actually learn from your mom, you're going to teach to your son, you know, uh, it's our culture, basically. Absolutely. Okay, now the last thing you want to do is actually put a little bit of olive oil when you're tossing it, so you're going to make it actually even more silky and creamy. Okay. And I remember the chef I told you, uh, the one which put the martini on the end. Yeah. Um, we were really very, very, very busy. And sometimes, you know, I was turning and saying, okay, Andrea, give me the pasta. It's nice time. No, chef. If it wasn't perfect, he would never give it to me. Honestly, he was a really, really good guy. Sometimes, nice. you know, it was a... Yeah. Okay, now, what we're gonna do, we can just put it in up here. And we can use the shell as a garnish. All right. So this is, let's say, a sharing plate for two people. Even because the egg pasta is quite uh, fulfilled. Especially right, we, we're doing the plating and see you guys in a pit. Right, uh, we're done with your plate? Yeah, it's ready. Uh, it's ready, the lobster fettuccine is done. And thank you guys for watching. And would you like to say anything? Um, but thank you very much for having me here. It's been a pleasure to cook here, and I really appreciate that. You're most welcome. Make sure my kitchen is clean before you leave. Yeah, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. And please, feel free to do it at home. You can find the lobster anywhere in the market. Need money, right? I'll see you guys. <laughs>